I'd like to talk to you just for a couple of minutes about one of the methods modules we offer in the second half of Hillary term, which is called Metrics Measurement and Online Visibility. Now this is a course that is co-taught. Um, a colleague of mine from Wolverhampton University, Mike Thalwall, who's really an international expert on these topics, comes down for a couple of weeks and helps me teach this. And this is about ways of understanding how people influence each other online, how they cite each other's ideas, and how we can start to measure these sorts of things, measure impact and online visibility. So in the first week of the course, we look at one of the more traditional tools of measurement, which is called bibliometrics or scientometrics. It's how people cite each other, how people um, point to each other's work. You do this all the time when you write papers, you cite each other's work. There's a, there's a long history of being able to then measure how these citations play out, how people's citations build. If you've ever used Google Scholar, that's one of the tools we'll use in this first week of the class. Also things like Scopus or Web of Science. And we'll talk about the meaning of things like H indexes that you might have heard of, or some of the other kinds of measurements that are out there to measure impact of articles and scholarly ideas. This is handy not just in terms of studying scholarship, but in terms of being able to evaluate the kinds of works that you're citing and looking for in your own research. You can see which ideas have the most impact and then use that to help shape your literature reviews, for instance, in your theses. Then the next two weeks, Mike helps quite a lot with when we talk about webometrics and altmetrics. Webometrics take these same basic concepts of citation and apply it to web pages because on web pages, as you all know, there's links between pages. Those, those, those um, links, those hyperlinks between from one page to the next is the same as a citation in a paper. And Mike and his colleagues have built a lot of tools to help you extract hyperlinks from these um, from the web, from the live web, or from data sets extracted from the web, and to then be able to use those hyperlinks in order to understand the flow of ideas, the impact of different web pages, the ways that you can start to measure the, the, the flow of ideas across the web, for instance. Also, when we talk about altmetrics, we take some of those same ideas about web links, which go back a long time, and apply them to some of the more modern technologies like social media, Twitter and Facebook and other things, looking at how social media influence um, helps ideas flow across the web. And then finally, in the fourth week, we talk a little bit about mapping science and mapping ideas and mapping the flow of things across uh, either, either scholarly publishing or across the web or other sorts of data sets. And there's a lot of tools built for this. Some of you might be taking the even more in-depth course than information visualization. But we'll, in this, we'll spend at least one week talking about different ways of visualizing these sorts of links and being able to make sense of them using visual tools and mapping things like standard underlying maps of science. So this course would be of interest to those of you who might be envisioning a career in academia, certainly, because academics increasingly have to show the kinds of impacts that they have and be able to keep track of the impacts of their articles and their work. But also those of you who are um, not even remotely considering a career in academia but are going into other businesses, businesses want to know about how people link to their web pages and how, how they can demonstrate the impact of these web pages. One of the projects we've had here at the OII that we'll talk a bit about in the class is a toolkit that we built called TIDSR, the Toolkit for the Impact of Digitized Scholarly Resources. And that is was set up to help people who built digitized collections such as you use in libraries all the time to be able to understand whether people are using these digitized collections in interesting ways and in useful ways. And we'll be, you can take a look at that toolkit if you want to. If you Google TIDSR, you'll find it. And those are some of the kinds of tools that we'll be looking at in this course to help you give a sense of the kinds of things we'll be doing. So if you're interested in, in measuring what's happening on the web and measuring what's happening in the world of ideas, um, and, or if you're just interested in learning more how you could come up with the a more definitive way of understanding what the ideas are to follow in things like your literature reviews, this is a good class to take. So I'd encourage you to sign up for it and come along and we'll see what we can do together.